Resource packs, also known as texture packs in 2023. How do we install them? Well, first things first, you'll want to download some. And in the description down below, we have this. This is our in-depth list of 15 resource packs for the most recent version of Minecraft. What's great is when Minecraft 1.20 comes out, guess what? We're going to update this article. When 1.30 comes out, years, decade from now, Aye, aye, aye. A decade from now, we will update this list. So, nevertheless, this is here for you to be able to find the perfect texture pack. Now, if the texture pack you want to install isn't on this list, that's fine. This will still work for any texture pack in Minecraft. Honestly, this hasn't changed for a very long time, so I expect it to be the same process no matter what version we're on in the future. However, for this specific video, we're going to download John Smith Legacy. We're just going to right-click on these download buttons and open the links in a new tab. We'll also go ahead and grab the Doku Craft texture pack, and then let's grab something a bit more unique. We'll grab Bare Bones. So all of these have kind of a different download process. For Bare Bones, it takes us to Curse Forge, where we want to look at the right-hand sidebar and scroll down to the version of Minecraft we want. In this case, it's Minecraft 119. If this is in the future, it might be 120 or another version. Click the download button under that, and the download begins after a few seconds. While that's downloading, how about us for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to start your own Minecraft server, the easiest way to do it is with Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex will allow you to start your very own server quickly and easily in under five minutes. Once you have your server, you can customize it however you want with plugins or mods, and if you have any issues, Apex has 24 hours, seven day a week support to help you out. We love it to stay back so much that we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting, so check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex if you want to start your own server. Now, Barebones has downloaded with resource packs you may need to keep or save them, and they should be downloading as .zip files. By the way, if they are a WinRAR file or show a different icon than just a zip icon, that's perfectly normal. Now, John Smith Legacy has a dedicated tutorial on our website, so you're going to click on the yellow download button there. That will take you to the official website, where we want to make sure that we're not downloading the Bedrock version, but the Java version of this texture pack. Now, not every texture pack or resource pack is going to have a Bedrock version, but if they do, it will be a very different download. It will not be a .zip file, for example. Same thing with Doku Craft, it has a dedicated tutorial. We click download here, and there are a few different versions of Doku Craft. You have the light, you have the high, and you have the dark version. We're gonna go ahead and download the light version, because that's my favorite, and then on the right hand side we can see this. Now, this is only available for 1.19.2, but it's gonna work in 1.19.3 without any issue. So we can go ahead and download the Java Edition pack here, and boom, it downloads right like so. Now if we minimize our browser, I have Minecraft open already. Go ahead, pause the video and open that, but first we need to find where these files are at. They're going to be most likely in your downloads folder. To locate that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, or if you're on Windows 11, the bottom center of your screen. Yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in downloads. Now, you may have a downloads file folder appear. If not, open up File Explorer. And then on the left-hand sidebar, scroll down to this PC and click on the downloads option in here. Here are the three texture packs we downloaded. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, we can open up Minecraft. So go ahead, pause the video for a second if you need to, but open up Minecraft to whatever Minecraft version you want to play. Then from the main menu, click Options, and then click Resource Packs. Then in the Resource pack section, click Open Pack Folder. Again, let's do that really fast just to make sure we know exactly where we're going. So let's go ahead and click on Options, Resource Packs, and then Open Pack Folder in the bottom left side. Then we want to drag and drop any texture packs or resource packs we want to install into this resource packs folder. Now when we close out of this, here they are in game. Now if they're red like this, a lot of times that's not a problem. And the time it wouldn't be is if you're playing, for example, 1.20.2 and the pack was made for 1.20. That's usually okay 95% of the time. It will show red here though, and that's the case with both Bare Bones and Doku Craft. The current version is 1.19.3, but these are for 1.19.2 and 1.19. I'll show you how those react, but first let's do the John Smith Legacy, which is up to date to this Minecraft version. Hover over it, click on the arrow, and it's going to move it into the selected pack section. When we click done, Minecraft is going to reload all together, and boom, now we have this brand new look of Minecraft. We can actually join in game and even switch resource packs directly in Minecraft. To do this, once you're in game, just hit escape, and then you want to go into options, 
resource packs, and then we can uninstall a resource pack or remove it by clicking on this little arrow. It's gonna move it to the available pack section. And now let's do bare bones. Hover over it, click the arrow. You're gonna get this warning that basically says, this pack was made for an older version of Minecraft. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, we want to. So go ahead and click that and click done. Now bare bones is going to work. The only thing that might not appear is if there were any custom textures or anything added in a version since 1.19 basically even, right? 1.19. And that's not the case. 1.19.2, 1.19.1, 1.19.3 didn't add any major texture changes. And as you can see, bare bones is working fine. However, if there was a texture that was left out, if there was something that bare bones didn't have, and you had another pack that you wanted to use the textures for, we can actually stack resource packs. To do that, hit escape, go into options, resource packs. And then let's say we wanted all the textures from Doku Craft and the stuff that Doku Craft didn't have, it has everything. But the stuff that Doku Craft didn't have, if it didn't have something, would be bare bones. To do that, hover over Doku Craft, hit the arrow, confirm you're okay with playing an older pack, and then whichever pack is on top is going to display first. So for example, if you had a weapons resource pack, you would put that over bare bones, for example, and your weapons would be the weapons pack, and everything under that would be bare bones. So you can stack resource packs like this. I've seen people do crazy stuff and have like five or six, even seven of these over here with different sort of custom textures with a base texture pack at the bottom. It would work like this. First, you have Doku Craft. Any textures Doku Craft doesn't have will show up as the bare bones textures. Any textures that bare bones doesn't have will be the default Minecraft textures. Now I'll go ahead and click done and it's going to reload and Doku Craft will be installed. There we go. If you have any questions about getting a resource pack, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. We'll be, try our best to help you out or join the community support discord, which you can find in the description as well. If we did help you get your resource packs up and running in Minecraft in 2023, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick and I am out. Peace.